talk about water sanitation and hygiene. And sometime back in 2017, we had some UN partner organizations coming together, bringing uh, to bear their expertise um, to help promote water sanitation and hygiene, especially in the northern parts of Ghana. And so today, it's more like a progress report. We want to find out how far gone this campaign has been. And to help us do so, we have a consultant for wash in disaster prone areas, Dr. Daniel Adum, and he joins us this morning. Good morning, thank you so much for joining morning, me. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. How far <laughs> gone is this project? How is it doing? Well, um, the project uh, actually was completed in 2018, mm. uh -huh. but um, there, there, there are residual issues to contend with. Okay. So uh, we have regathered and uh, we are trying to uh, reinforce the achievements okay. uh, through elements such as capacity building, ensuring the visibility of the program, the knowledge management aspects of it, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But why the northern region? The northern region in this particular case, because here we're talking of disaster-prone communities. Yeah. And uh, in the northern regions, for instance, you know that there is this recurrent flooding activities that take place almost yeah. on an annual basis. Mm. So the, the reason for going there was to try, because you know, hitherto, um, wash projects have been done, but the question of resilience had not been given too much attention. Okay. So you put in the borehole, the floods come, the waters are contaminated, the boreholes are contaminated, yeah. and then you are back to square one. So the idea was to try to focus specifically on uh, the uh, flooded areas, disaster areas, and to try to resolve some of the issues that mm. come with the flooding events. I want us to talk more about the missing link, some of these challenges that you mentioned earlier, because yeah. yes, it has been completed, but there have been some anomalies here and there. Yeah. Tell me more about those. Yeah, the missing link. Um, you know, one of the things that we think uh, would be a very important missing link is how effectively um, the lessons that we've learned, for instance, could be incorporated in policy. Mm. You know, because at the end of the day, when there is policy, there would be uh, strategies to implement yeah. the policy. And by extension, government would ensure that in providing water and sanitation and hygiene, the components necessary to ensure that they, they are durable yeah. solutions are put into the designs and the construction of the systems. But let's tell us the achievements of you know, the team. It's, it's good well, to talk about the, all the Well, uh, the achievements were quite uh, significant in effect. Uh, there were 265 communities, disaster prone, mm. flooded on a regular basis. Yeah. They have now been provided with what we deem as resilient water and sanitation. They've also been trained on the questions of emergency response because you know all these things have to go hand in hand. Yeah. How they respond when emergencies happen is a very critical element in this. There was also the question of water safety planning which uh, they have also been taught. And you know, it also, uh, the districts in which these communities were we also have also been capacitated in this, as well as even at the national level. And now the question is, with these achievements and the lessons that have been learned, how effectively can we push? Yeah, which is what this, I was going to ask yes, you. Yes, yeah, this into the policy yeah. elements. How are yeah. we going to do that? We well, uh, that? We, we, uh, as part of this process that we're doing now for the next six months or so, the idea is that uh, we have a policy dialogue mm -hmm. with uh, stakeholders. Uh, essentially, the, uh, we're doing that also because the Ministry for Water, uh, sorry, Sanitation and Water Resources is in the process of reviewing the Ghana National Water Policy. Okay. As you may be aware, that policy was done in 2007, so time has passed. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, it was the MDGs. Now we have the SDGs. Now we have the, uh, 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 the uh, vision, Africa Vision 2030, yeah. and then also the Ghana, of course, Ghana has its uh, GPRS, and now we have uh, 
the, uh, the, the national vision, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. So the idea is how do we put all of this and ensure that we are able to uh, effect po uh, in policy the resilience characteristics we, we are talking about. Uh, interestingly, you would realize that the Ghana climate change policy also deals with water, yeah. for instance. So how do we align uh, that policy with this review process, for and, instance? And what's the role of government as well? Because oh, the yes, role of government is critically important. In fact, in all of this, government has played a very important lead role mm -hmm. in getting the decentralized uh, uh, structures involved in the process, the district assemblies, the regional coordinating council, uh, the national level, okay. all of them involved. The community water and sanitation played a significant role as well. Mm. And you know, they are the, uh, uh, the main players when it comes to rural water and small towns water. Yeah. So we're looking forward to the dialogue and a few other things that you'll be working yes, on as yes, well. Yes, 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 that's right. right. All right, that's well, what we've been keeping at. our fingers crossed, hopefully we can do more and even extend it to other parts because, I mean, yes. when we think of disaster prone areas. Greater mm. Accra region has also experienced its fair share. So yeah, it would be nice right. to extend fact, it. It, it. It would be necessary to extend it because also even in the urban areas, sometimes we have similar problems. Yes. I mean, the waters come, floods come, and then places are washed yeah. away, and then you have to go back and then redo things. Uh, so yes, uh, and we are talking to our development partners All as right. usual to see if we can find some resources. To, okay, to we're looking forward to that. I've been speaking to Dr. Daniel Adum. He's a consultant uh, for WASH in disaster-prone areas. Thank you so much Thank you. for joining me on the show.